Hello everyone, this is Skarzig, and welcome back to another episode of The Darkest Dungeon. Last time, uh, we took a bit of a beating. We managed to clutch things really, really hard thanks to Megix, the um, virtuous Houndmaster. The problem with that previous run, though, is that everybody got diseased. And so I thought up a little bit of a plan to counteract that. I want to go over that first um, because we have a quest here in the weld where we're getting crests which if you'll recall is something that we are still striving for um but we're going to be gathering medicine which triggers that caregivers convention that makes the um the treatment center free so i'm going to use this to uh save a lot of value furthermore um the grave robbers have a camping skill called snuff box i'm going to have to learn this for luna because she is level 2 and is about to hit level 3, hopefully at the end of this run. Um, and it removes the disease from a target. So I'm actually going to be bringing Galahad back out. He has two really nasty diseases, the Black Plague and the Runs. So he is like completely done up. We are going to use this run, the camping skill, to get rid of one. And then use the free treatment week to get rid of the other. Um, furthermore, Galahad is just about to hit level 3, so this will be a really nice way to get him over that threshold, and then we won't need to use him for a couple weeks while he's in recovery. Um, looking at everybody else's diseases, you know, Vampiric Spirits, I don't think is that bad. Bad humors we want to get taken care of. Um, Galahad is definitely the most diseased. Snake Eyes has Vampiric Spirits. So, I'm thinking what I could get away with is, um maybe bringing snake eyes along instead of galahad to take advantage of um of this setup right where it's just high damage and we have a healer just to compensate because i think now that i'm thinking about it having the runs minus 10 hp 10 percent hp minus 20 dodge and then minus 10 percent more hp minus speed that's probably too much to to bring out even on an, an easy dungeon like this. So I think what I'll do is I'll bring Snake Eyes instead. Um, that way we can use the um, the snuff box to get rid of his vampiric spirits. And um, we have a little bit more damage for our front line. Because Athena is diseased but she's already level 3, right? And uh, Snake Eyes we still want to get leveled up. So I think that this is probably better. Um, and then we still get our um, pistol shot thing going on. We could probably even swap these two. Sparrow has a base speed of 5. Snake Eyes has a base speed of 7. So we can get our Duelist Advanced Pistol Shot combo going pretty nicely. Um, and I did bring Open Vein on Snake Eyes, which I think is really, really good in the wield because there's a few enemies that have extra protection, and so that dot is going to be great. And then, you know, we just have a way to harass the back line. We've also got Poison. Um, yeah, so this is this is beautiful. I'm wondering if we need pick to the face. Probably, just in case we get shuffled, we'll uh we'll have something. Um maybe shadow fade. If we uh if we put on lunge uh shadow fade, we can just have them mixing around like the whole time. Hmm. But lunge is forward two. So if I put Luna in the fourth row and then forward two puts her in third and you can only use pistol shot um excuse me i mean point blank shot where is it what the heck wow this is something i i assumed that pistol shot was point blank shot because i've been using this same setup for so long with fabian and um dankhart and they've been like doing such work with that kit that and I haven't had to take snake eyes out on a mission for so long um, So we actually need to teach him point blank shots so we can make use of that take off the grape shot blast Yeah, so that's that's actually really smart um, If Salim wasn't diseased well Salim's level three so we wouldn't need to bring him out and We did again have access to another occultist but he had like really bad negative quirks. So Red Hood is almost um, almost level 3 as well. Yeah, so we'll really be able to make use of this party. We just have to 
up everybody's skills. So I think we're good in that aspect. So first things first, we're going to sort by level just so that um, it puts our party at the top. Luna needs to learn snuff box. And honestly, 1,575 for this repeatable camping skill that we can just use to remove um, diseases is, is just going to be amazing. And you can only have four camping skills. Hmm. Gallows humor we might be able to get away with. Wound care and courage are all good. We'll take off pilfer because I'm always struggling to make room for treasure. So we don't need a random supply item. We're going to take the snuff box. And then we'll go to the guild. I think everybody's skills are... Oh, wow. No, they, they need to be upgraded. Throw, upgrade that and that and that. Um, red hood. I always do that. I accidentally back out of the guild. Um, yeah, we'll just upgrade um you can't see because my cam is covering it but we are at seventy four thousand six hundred and twenty gold uh, after uh spending what we just spent and so we won't need to uh do this upgrade for a while and that'll give us plenty of time to gather more crests um our big priority is getting armor smithing once again to uh to level three anybody else upgrade this is this is just too good what if i i haven't really been making use of uppercut is that worth it i mean it's a stun if i if i ever come do a party where i'm running nobunaga and sparrow at the same time then that'll probably be really dank to have an uppercut and then the um what is it to finish him where it does bonus damage to stuns yeah to stun enemies they've also got flashbang which uh shuffles that's really interesting too but come hither is, is better, I think, for just fishing out uh, a key target that you want from the back line. All right, but anyway, enough about that. Um, Snake Eyes needs to learn Point Blank Shot, and then you need to upgrade your Point Blank Shot. And then your Duelist Advance gets upgraded, and your Pistol Shot gets upgraded. Like, oh my god. I, I love this set so much, I can't even tell you. And I don't need the um, the AOE just because when you have the Highwayman and the Grave Robber, we, I've done this before, and they just, just completely wreck. And then we've got a little bit of bleed just for utility, Duelist Advance. So now we just really need to figure out our, um, our lineup, how we're going to um, have the party positioned initially. Because this right here is for just Duelist Advance point blank shot. And if we do uh, lunge shadow fade combos on Luna, because we did try that prior, that does actually synergize with Sparrow um, to have a little bit of a stun on here. So that might be useful. I think most of the time we're going to be doing thrown daggers. Maybe get away with po take off uh, poison darts. Take off pick to the face. Take off these two and then uh, run lunge shadow fade. That could be pretty dank. She's got eight base speed, so she'll actually be going first. Yeah, what the hell? Let's let's do it. Let's do it. We'll 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 throw some uh lunge shadow fade shenanigans in here. And we can upgrade them. So it'll be really hilarious. So we'll take off these two for lunge shadow fade. And then we've got throne dagger. Beautiful, beautiful. I think that that's correct. Let me look at this one more time. Because if we lunge, Shadow Fade moves you back one. Yeah, so move forward two, then back one. Theoretically, that would put Snake Eyes in front. So we would have to wait for that second um, rotation to do Shadow Fade after lunge, right? So that would give Snake Eyes a chance to Duelist Advance which would put Luna in the back, I think, too. Yeah, so I think this is correct because Sparrow can hit from rank three. And yeah, so this, I think this is the party composition we want um, and the order that we need. So that was <laughs> pretty, pretty difficult to uh, reason through, but everybody's got upgraded weapons and armor. Now we just got to worry about trinkets. And then we'll be uh, 
on our way. Um, so first things first, the um, point blank shot is a ranged skill. So he's got like hybrid, right? If so, if we have anything that's like bonus to ranged, I'd probably equip that um, and give the berserk charm. Hmm. Probably to Sparrow. Since since the party's going to be shuffling around, the Brawler's Gloves aren't going to be as great because I can't ultimately predict who's going to be in front unless... Um, and I'm not sure how that calculates when you use point blank shot um, because it shuffles. I don't know if it's simultaneous and it doesn't count as them being in, in position one, or if you get the position one damage and then you shuffle back. Um, so another thing I do need to consider is um, if this is going to be a torched run. Because we are going to be camping, so we're going to have a torch most, most of the time. Um, she does have um, Night Owl and Nocturnal, so that's incentive for a torch run. This is uh, minus two speed of torch below 26 so and photomania. Yeah, so we're doing a torched run. So the sun ring is going to be uh, going to be godlike. Um, and so because Luna gets to go first, she's going to get the sun ring simply because even if we do uh, dagger throw or if we do lunge into shadow fade, we're still going to be able to get that one shot potential um, with Sparrow. They have we have this bounty hunter's helmet. Um, is extra scouting chance and extra stress heal while camping. So maybe we just bring that along simply because we aren't going to be doing like Omega damage buffing uh, trinket selections this time around. And if this gives extra scouting chance, then I guess we'll bring the survival guide too. try to get a godlike scout, a little bit of extra trap disarm. And grave robbers have like really high base trap disarm. Um, and so... This is interesting to have the extra damage for melee skills and minus dodge, but that's probably not worth simply because um, highwaymen have such strong dodge capability already. Is there anything that, that can just give me some base damage? Don't have to worry about it too much. Minus accuracy on range skills, which I don't really care about. A lot of these trinkets, I always say, oh, I need to sell this, I need to sell that, but I never get around to it. Um, you know what? We'll, we'll, ro we'll roll with the uh, Warrior's Bracer. Forget if he doesn't have a lot of dodge because we're going to be camping and we have a healer. And then, yeah, everything else we can just kind of run with. If we give Red Hood the Feather Crystal to have extra speed, that puts her up to six base, and she doesn't outspeed the rest of the party except uh, Sparrow. So this will give us a chance to um, get her backline stunned or a heal off, I think, when we need it. Because there's not going to be a lot of movement or a lot of stuns in the weld, as far as I remember. And so we've got, yeah, we've got the, the right setup here. This is, this is dank. That's it for trinkets. We st again, we still want to leave room. And I think that that is all. Actually, before I forget, the next week is going to be free to treat one illness. So we'll put um, we'll put Galahad in treatment now. We'll pay for one. Works. No, diseases. We'll pay for one now. And then we'll get the other one cured for free uh, next week when we trigger that... Um, that event there's nobody else that's double diseased yeah and then the treatment ward medical wards are going to be um free as well and this will give us a chance to get rid of some negative quirks we could probably do that now because we'll be recouping a lot of that value with it being um with it being so we'll sort by level so we can start treating our high leveled people that we're actually wanting to use Bad Nobunaga, what do you've got? Craving for alcohol. The bloodthirsty is kind of I think will kind of screw us over. So I think we'll take away the bloodthirsty. 
Dispo Mania. There's not that many quirks that um, that trigger off of alcohol. The Ruminator, um, that's a severe negative quirk, so I might take advantage of the free week to get that taken care of. Hmm. Yeah, so these uh, these quirks aren't too bad. Mania, thanatophobia, necromania, I think might be interesting to get taken care of. But so Galahad might be out of commission for a few weeks um, while we get that out of the way. Pardon me. Hmm. Clumsy. Doesn't really care about that. Interesting. Who was it? Wait a minute. Who was it that got, um... No, it was somebody on the stagecoach, I think, that had kleptomania. That I was like, screw that, I'm not taking you. I don't think any of my party members actually got um, kleptomania from something. Tickly is kind of annoying. Horn Rotator. The Brimstone, I remember now. Brimstone was somebody that I wanted to get treated. So we'll take care of Torn Rotator right now. And we'll look at the um, negative quirks we want to treat later on uh, next week when we trigger the event. Sounds like a plan. Is there anybody we could put in stress relief now that I'm thinking about it? Sort by stress. Guts. We could put him in stress relief. Sounds like a plan. We'll do Penance Hall um, because I think that that's one has the least, uh, the lowest chance of them going on like a spiritual journey or whatever and being out of commission for an extra week because I do intend on taking Guts out here um, in the next couple runs for sure. So I like this party. We got to make sure to camp early, get rid of the um, vampiric spirits, which isn't that bad bad of a disease. But Galahad got messed up so bad, we just can't take him to take, make advantage of the uh, the snuff box. So let's jump into things. Again, this is going to be a torch run, my first one in a while. Um, I think we can get away with. We'll, we'll take ten torches. We're gonna be camping. We'll take a sleeve of food. Skeleton keys. You need anti venom for uh, checking curios here. Shovels are nice. Bandages? Do you need bandages? I think it's like check the tree. The bandages protect your hand or something like that. Eh, we'll roll with it. Medicinal herbs. Eh, I think that this will be fine. We'll embark. Yeah, let's let's do this. One second. Okay, embark. Every once in a while, I kind of psych myself out right at the last second. You can retreat from combat and even abandon quests. If things are going terribly, live to fight another day. And there's a scouting uh, going in for us. All right, so remember, we're here to find the medicines. So we need space in our inventory for them. Salvage a torch, which is always welcome. So remember, this party is built around um, Luna going first. Oops. That's going to be really annoying because I uh, wanted her in the slot. I wanted this to be the default party order. That was one thing I, uh, I forgot. I simply must know what is within. Thank you for having your curious proc on that torch. So yeah, this is gonna get cleared during, cured during the free week because I can, I'm seeing a vision of the future where that curious like screws me over big time. So yep, Luna goes first, flashing daggers. Oh wow, there's not a one shot. Interesting. That's cool. Is this a one shot, six to 12? Oh no. Okay, good dodge. We are off to a really bad start. <laughs> I thought flashing daggers would be enough. My god, that's harsh. Ah! So much damage. Um, 
Point blank shot. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. And then the stun wears off. Luckily, she has the um. Ooh, damn. All right, she has that um self heal thing. Judgment, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, where she heals by hitting something in the back line. So that's that's not going to be terrible. Um, party order. God. This is going to get really annoying having to shuffle through everybody like that because I messed up the default party order. But I'm loving all these scoutings that we're getting. It's only a matter of time before we get a crit, right? And then we increase our, our wealth by untold amounts. Hey, we get it. Backpack. Backpack, 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 backpack. More spiders. All right, so let, let's try this again. We're going to do Throne Dagger to get the guaranteed one shot. That's how you do it. Executed with impunity. That's how you do it. Uh, what has the higher uh, base damage? 6 to 12. Finish him is 6 to 12. <laughs> And we get the crit. Nice. Yeah, so if it keeps going like this. We keep going like this, then um gonna be pretty smooth sailing. And we'll just keep one shotting everything before Red Hood has a chance to even, you know, fight or heal. But we can camp. That's the main point of this thing anyway. Thousand gold, not too bad. Oh, please, Sparrow. Uh, don't mind if you do. 50 gold. I think when they uh, when they auto-check curios, it, it has a chance of getting a low roll like that. That might be what it is. Oh, damn. Now, these ectoplasms need to die. Um, so, right away, we're going to throw dagger. Oh, that's a really low roll. Very disappointed. But we do get the judgment. Get a heal in there and soften her up. Let's, let's just keep working on her. Put her on one HP. So we'll, uh, oh, that's right. We left him in uh, slot one. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll open vein so we can hit it. Oh, damn. Damn. We used all four of our characters trying to kill just the one and it didn't work. This is going to get rough. That is okay. Get pushed. Aw. I was going to say, if he gets pushed, then I can duelist advance, and it doesn't, like, screw over my party composition at all. And I took off Grape Shot Blast, which would probably be really good here. So... I guess we just Judgment. Another dodge! This is insane! Another Eldritch Push. Snake Eyes, come on, take it! I was going to say, just get shuffled, man. Be cool. I think this is where we lunge Shadow Fade. There we go, and then he can get his Duelist Advance up, and that hits all the way to the fourth rank. Boom. And the, um... Hook and Slice. Lead for four damage? Damn! So she's dead. I don't think I've ever seen a, a bleed for four. Then we can, uh, we can shadow fade to move back into our default row. And we can just wail on this dude. Finish him versus stunned enemies. Boom! The synergy. It's, it's coming together, fam. There we go. Bit of a learning curve. Deck. I was going to say with this deck, <laughs> with this, uh, with this party setup. All right, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So we gotta we gotta backtrack now. There was medicine in that room, which is always good. We're still doing really good on torches. If we zoom out, we're probably gonna have to camp like right here is gonna be the halfway point. Hmm. And if we get a another extended fight like that, we'll probably have Red Hood just do um divine comfort and do a party heal. Just to top everybody off, I think. Now, um, Collect Bounty does bonus damage versus humans. So we are going to hit him in the second row. 
and we're gonna flashing daggers to finish him off hit the third rank oh my god that's beautiful that's not bad at all point blank shot ooh that's what I'm talking about um yeah nice wow go right away Continually onslaught. Destroy. nice and we get some deeds okay now we're talking I'm just gonna leave the party to old tree I think it's what I think it's anti-venom here we go protects against the poisonous sap excellente torch up another torch whoo right before that battle triggered so we get the surprise all right so we learned our lesson last time we're gonna do throne dagger hit rank four i like how the dagger like went through the eye of that skull on the killing blow that was pretty cool um you just collect bounty just kill one of them and the spiders don't leave corpses so it's much easier for your frontliners to deal with them um judgment oh thought that would kill Um, I think we take this opportunity to just... Ah, oh, damn, dodge. I was hoping that, uh, that I would just be able to finish off that one, but, but they got the dodge. We're gonna lunge so we can hit rank one. Nice. Wow. Hmm. We get rid of. You can only carry shovels and stacks of four. I don't know why I never realized that. Holy water, I think, is is useful here. It camp. Got extra bandages. Is holy water or medicinal herbs better? I think we just throw away this spare shovel, take the onyx. Um, we're s not really at the halfway point, but I think that with a big chest here like this, we can afford to camp and uh, just run through the rest. And st strategy wise, this is like a really bad idea, right? To camp so early, but I I'm pretty sure our party can handle it. We'll feast. This de-stresses, tops off our HP. And so first things first, we're gonna snuff box. Pure vampiric spirits. Pardon me. Oh, my stomach. A little burpy today. Um then we want to courage just to take that stress off. Bandit sense. Fence ambush. And we get an extra chance to surprise monsters. Clean guns is extra damage to ranged skills. Which affects point blank shot, but that only lasts for four battles. Ooh, we're going to do scout ahead. We're just going to go all in on this uh, scouting synergy. Do we have anything else that's one cost? Nope. Let's rest. I, that way, you know... You have to get your scouts before you can get critical scouts, right? We're out here hunting for treasure. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. A hey, blaze it. Anyway, sorry, that was a lame joke. Move. And we're going to check this chest. Wow, we got room for all that. Nice. Now, portraits... We wanted to get for the um, guild hall. Oh no. All right. Sometimes a tree is just a tree. Thank goodness. Normally there's all kinds of like poisonous junk in there and. We'll throw a dagger.
Point blank shot. Boom. Nice. Oh, look, a shovel. All my expeditions promise success. Except that one time. <laughs> Dear God. Except except that multiple handfuls of times. So we get a shovel to dig in this grave. And then we got to use another shovel to clear this debris. Busts. Do we need busts? We can take the uh, emeralds instead of the onyx. Probably throw the bandages too. Nature herself. If only we had hit those curios before we uh, used up those last um, shovels. Scout. What do you see with your elf eyes? Nothing. Just see some upcoming curios. We got to start running into medicine here too. Oh god, you're not curious about that. You aren't curious about that beast carcass. What is within this? It's trapped. Ooh, resisted. He's a bounty hunter, he knows. He's gotta look inside, but he knows that it could be booby-trapped. All right, so I, I intentionally left Snake Eyes in the second rank so that I can duelist advance. There's a chance to one-shot the slime, and I think that they'd probably do the most nonsense to me. Nah, they didn't one-shot, that's unfortunate. Um, I think we're going to throw a dagger. Once again, missing the one shots. Very upsetting. Judgment. How much will that do? Four to nine. So we, as long as we don't roll minimum, we finish her off. Go. Yes. Crit. All right. Now we're cooking. We're going to collect bounty. Oh, that doesn't hit third rank. Terrible shame. Um... I guess we just finish off this slime, take out an enemy, so they don't get that rotation of damage. Oh no, not Eldritch Push. I think you can still come hither in rank 4. But they should have this wrapped up. <laughs> Shadow Fade. <laughs> We're gonna, uh, Dazzling Light. Damn! I was going to say, if we can stun her, then uh, we should be able to get our party back on track. Cool. Come hither works. So you can't do that from fourth row. Nice. Let's me... Uh... Are you serious? <laughs> Shadow fade again? But... There we go. We got there. It took a while, but we got there. Be wary. You only carry citrine in stacks of five. Um, eat this food. Start a new stack. More scouting. Treasure, give it to me. <laughs> Not too bad. Honestly, just knowing that there's going to be like fights coming up is great and all of these um, Scouts also will let us detect traps normally um, Towards the end of the run when we get the third medicine we will pretty much be out of torches and that will open up a lot of options for us I guess we'll just use the holy water even though it's something, holy water is so hard to hold on to, it seems, because when it has like curio interactions, it's super strong, but it's like pretty much useless otherwise. The extra disease resists, I guess, if you're really knowledgeable about what enemies could possibly cause diseases, like these dogs, the rabid dogs, then I guess the holy water will, will come in handy. Pardon me. All right, so I think. We need to try to... Flashing daggers. Excellent. So we get a little softening up on this one and kill rank three. Point blank shot to finish off you. And then whoever goes next could possibly kill this rabid dog. Okay, it's up to you. Wait, no judgment. 
Nice! Okay. That was beautiful. Oh look, another holy water. Victory, but a victory nonetheless. Curio up here. Backpack. His curious is like procking over and over again. And it has not screwed us over severely yet. And I'm just like waiting to get that cured. Holy crap. Journal pages. I haven't completed. I've been finding tons and tons of journal pages, but I haven't completed um, a single full entry, I don't think. And once I do, I would like to, um, you know, maybe read those for one of the videos, like look over them a little bit. And um, you guys will have to remind me to, uh, <laughs> to check the journal uh, progression as we go, because I know I'll forget. Hmm. Now, deeds we still need. The portraits we kind of needed. I know we needed crests, which are the reward for this quest, but I can't remember if we need busts. I don't think we do. I don't think we do. Like I said, we're, we're pretty much going to be running down on our torches here pretty soon to the point where we'll have room for the uh, final medicine which is probably going to be in this last room since this whole thing spawned in a really linear fashion. Another torch. I'm like trying to burn all my torches and they won't let me. Crap. We're going to have uh, Sparrow do it, of course, because he has the most stress out of everybody. He has 110% trap disarm. That's the other thing about this party is they're immune to traps, essentially. And even if they trigger, like, everybody's got pretty decent dodge. Oh, man. Time to make room for all this. All right. So, first things first. Throne dagger. Nice. The classic. Extra accuracy for getting one shot. That's cool. Darn. We can stun here, then Shadow Fade, potentially, as Luna. And then when Sparrow goes, he'll be basically guaranteed to clean up. And then Snake Eyes does the rest. Um, we'll open Vein. There we go. That way, we still get the stun proc here. Wow. I could probably start another stack of gold, truth be told, if I just... Yeah, we're gonna, um... We're gonna bail on our torches now. More crests, which is nice, and deeds. So, wow, do we really have to throw away the gold that we just got? Um, the jade is up to four. The emerald is only 750. So that means... Yeah, so the emerald is least likely to uh, to stack any further while keeping this gold stack has higher potential value for us. So we're gonna throw the emerald and take more deeds. And we need crests. Um, got to throw the portrait very unfortunate or we just throw the skeleton key to take crests and then we have lower overall value I'm gonna be I'm gonna be so mad if we get a critical scout in like these last few rooms um let's shift back like that oh are you shitting me oh god the starve Will can overcome a failing body. And we threw away torches. Our greed! We're getting punished for our greed! Alright, but anyway, there's no, uh... Nothing in here, so we just gotta check that satchel. 
throw away our shovels and there it is okay so we we didn't get fully punished <laughs> Uh, return to Hamlet. There's only one room and because we scouted, we knew that other room was empty. Cool. And we managed to hold on to that portrait, which, you know, saves us some, some trouble in the long run. Because wouldn't it suck to be one portrait short of, like, a really, really crucial upgrade? So. He, damn it! We cured the vampiric spirits, and then he got scurvy. Ay, ay, ay. Red Hood also got scurvy. Oh, it's because we, uh, didn't eat. And so it got, uh, scurvy. And then her night owl got replaced. Damn it. So treatment medical ward is free. Wow. Recovered 81 stress from the uh, flagellation. Oh, wow. He, it cured both the Black Plague and the runs. So we actually come out ahead now that Snake Eyes got re, um, re, uh, diseased and Red Hood is also diseased. I think we, we come out ahead in this situation. Hmm. This is pretty decent. Getting the Mankind Hater. We're, now we're starting to hit like this weird thing where we're uh, minus 10% damage. If you don't get the hell out of here, Man at Arms doesn't do any damage anyway. 1% crit, that's rude. But anyway, Sanitarium is what we want to work on next. Um, let's see. We do we have what we need to uh, upgrade the armor smith, right? Boom! There it is. The metal. We are raising an army. Now we could also do this upgrade um, that reduces the cost by ten percent, which could come in handy. Um, but let's check the guild really quick. Okay, yeah. So this is what we needed portraits for. Sanitarium. To get that last slot, we need like a bunch of nonsense, right? So this is what we need buffs, uh, busts for, is upgrading the sanitarium fully. So I do have to remember that, because I can never remember what we need busts for. So that is going to be our goal for now. We've got armor smithing and weapon smithing uh, up to level three. So our level three now, and we have um, a lot of level three heroes to pick from. Sorta, kinda sorta. And so we might be able to make a party out of this once we get everybody, you know, up to snuff, get all of their uh, diseases cured, any problematic negative quirks cured, that kind of thing. And then we might be able to tackle a veteran dungeon here in a second. But anyway, that's enough of that. Thank you for joining me today. I will see you next time and you have a good one.